DT excavation, daily excavation. We're putting in a septic system today. We've got uh, a septic tank hole dug out here. And it's roughly about uh, 10 foot wide and about uh, 6 foot deep, 12 foot long. The new septic tank is uh, going to go down that hole. And I'll show you that later on. They was having trouble with their septic system. And uh, here's generally what you can look for. This is an old septic tank. And uh, they come in different uh, different sizes. This one's kind of kind of shaped like an oval and it's a small tank. You can kind of see, you really can't probably see too good down in there, but uh, it's in pretty bad shape. It was backing up give them some issue a lot of times your septic tanks uh, that's 40 50 years old you know they're uh, usually about a couple foot under the ground so you'll have to kind of take a probing rod and find it but that's kind of what you'll what you'll find right there whenever you you dig it up and uh, if your tank needs pumped you know you can uh, pump it out of one of these two chambers it's always best to pump out of the front chamber but that's where all your uh, solid material is but that's generally what you're going to find right there that's a that's a classic septic tank right there generally what you'll find in your yard to uh, kind of give you an indication that you've got a problem is you'll find uh, wet spots where your leach lines are this one here had old clay tile and this is what you're going to find generally you can kind of see the see the black water that was coming up to the top of the ground you kind of see where the grass is green and right there is the old clay leach line and that's what you'll generally find the old clay tile pipe or you know if it's been put in the last 20 or 30 years it'll be plastic but that's generally what you're going to find right there is black water in your yard and when you have a septic system put in you want to get a qualified licensed uh, installer to do it and it's going to be a pretty evasive invasive job you're going to have a lot of dirt around it pretty much is going to tear up everything for a while now i'll kind of give you give you an idea of what the new septic tanks look like they come in a couple different styles they come in concrete and plastic and this septic tank here is a uh, norwico 960 aerator and it's a plastic tank. It comes in that first compartment, goes into the second compartment where it has a, a motor that uh, aerates it and, and uh, kind of like a washing machine. And in uh, the final uh, chamber, it has a filter where it goes out. That's what the new style septics look like. So let's kind of do a walk around here. And that way you can kind of see generally what they look like that tank there weighs about eight nine hundred pounds so it's not real heavy but they're really good tanks and this is the inlet side and of course the other end is the outlet side and that's going to get down and into that hole i just showed you and then we'll hook the pvc up down here 
we're going to put leash lines in, in the next few days and this is what you're going to find on new style leech lines okay you've got these black boxes which is drop boxes and this this system here has four lines your line coming from your septic tank is going to come in this end right here if you look down in the box you see the two pieces of PVC now this this one here is going out to a leech line and this one's going down to the next drop box so that uh, the PVC just hooks each drop box together and that's how your sewage gets out to each leech line and the little short white pipes is where the leech lines are going to be I've just got them capped off now so if you look out through here there's a bunch of flags now you can kind of see a row of pink flags up through there now these leech lines are on contour so what that means is it's on a little bit of a hillside you really probably can't see it in the camera but that pink flag out through there represents the line being level i know it's it's curvy but it, that's a level line so that's one leech line and you come down here you've got orange flags and you can kind of look out through there and see the orange flags how they curve around so that's the second leech line and of course you got the yellow one here which is the third leech line you can kind of see out through there if the camera's picking it up you can look up through there and you can see the the flags going so that's the third leech line the yellow and then your your blue here is the fourth leech line and it does the same thing it goes out and goes down wraps around and uh, goes out towards the road now this job called for uh, 425 foot lines so you've got 500 feet of line they're eight inches deep and then there'll be nine inches of topsoil that will be spread over top of these leach lines so that'll be coming in a, a later episode the leach line installation we've got uh, the septic tank hole i've got uh, my stone in the bottom of it i've got everything graded where it's nice and flat and where there's red marks is where the septic tank will sit in between those so I've got everything hand graded out and ready to set the tank. This is how you set a septic tank. It's in there and ready to go.